Hey everyone, it's Monday the 30th of January and it's 9.30 in the evening. So, as you can see I've picked up a job lot of model railway stuff. This is some really vintage stuff though. Um, this is now the oldest stuff I have, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty certain a lot of this is the oldest stuff now. And this is um, Hornby Double O. Yep. Yeah, not double O as in OO gauge, but double O. Although this is the same gauge. But it's not compatible with um, a lot of stuff because it uses three rails, not two. Pardon me. Um, yeah, this states, well, according to the old Googles, it was um, first introduced in 1938. And they ceased production of this particular type of track and whatnot in 1964. According to what I'm reading up here on my computer screen, anyway. And as you can see, it's a piece of track. It's a power track. It's got the two little bits there to put your wires on. You've got a third rail that runs down the middle. Which um, your pickups on your loco rub against. It's not a scale electric car, really. You know, the scale electric has the two contacts down the middle and the brushes run on it. So, uh, there's, a, there's a decent amount here. I mean, there's 214 pieces of track in total. There's a cat that just got his, got an earache earlier because he knocked the bloody um, loco that's going around the track off and separated part of the track. Um, but anyway, the track that came with it consists of 28 long straights, top right corner, and next to those, going from right to left, is 28 medium curves and then 8 long curves. Uh, and then we've got three of the long power tracks, which I've just showed you. Well, one of them I've just showed you. One of them is in use and the other one's right at the top. Um, 12 medium straights. Uh, and I think there's nine short curves next to that, so that's that top row of track. And then we've got, right above where the coaches are on the right hand side there, we have got two decoupling tracks and two crossover tracks. And that looks like we've got the five short straights there as well. Um, it came with ten points as well. Uh, yeah, five that go off to the left and five that go off to the right. Uh, oh yeah, and just below or just next to the coach that is directly below the crossover track um, there's five power tracks, short power tracks so plenty of track to connect with, it's basically about that long <laughs> um, I'll tell you what I didn't find these that easy to connect together I don't know if it's just because they're you know, old and been used and played with quite a lot probably or it's just a fact I'm just a dense newbie at it. <laughs> but I really did not find it that easy. Well, some parts pieces went together uh, quite well and other bits didn't want to. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I'm still getting over the cold. I'm feeling a darn sight better than I was though. I had a weekend where I literally did nothing. <laughs> Even though I wanted to, I just really did not feel up to it. I didn't even game or anything. Well, that reminds me, I've got a video I put up in the uh, gaming channel. I'll do that after this. So, yeah. Um, what else can we get? We've got six to eight coaches in total. Uh, two of them with boxes in the middle there. And above those is a Royal Mail coach with a little platform for it on. 
and it is meant to activate a door as it goes through that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and that came with a box as well. Um, six locomotives, four of them work, including Bobo, that's buzzing around the track at the minute. He's sped up since I've been running him. He was really, really slow, but I've got him on the 12 volt output, not the 15 volt, so I might try it on the 15 volt. I don't know if you need to change it for different locos or what. I'm really not familiar with this stuff. I just thought that would be quite nice just to add to the collection. So I've got a, um, a vintage box triangle set in the bedroom. Along with some extra track and some extra rolling stock and whatnot. And some extra locos that won't run on my layout because of the wheels. Because uh, that old triangle track, it's a deeper rail. So the wheels um, are slightly deeper. The flanges on them are deeper, I should say. Uh, we've got some miscellaneous rolling stock over on the left there as well. We've got three tankers, a couple of boxcars, a cattle wagon, a little merry truck, a longer truck. Uh, a guard's van and a couple of... I'm not sure what they are, actually. They're like kind of flat trucks. They're like two long ones and two really short ones. I should have put some rolling stock on Bobo, but you know, I tried that earlier and they didn't stay on. I wonder why I call it Bobo, because that's what it is. It is an L30 1000 bhp great horsepower Bobo diesel electric locomotive. There's the box for it. <coughs> yeah, a big old Bobo. Yeah, two of the locos aren't working. One of them's in the kitchen with the body off because it's just it's dead. Then there's a door out, doesn't even do anything. Doesn't even hum. <clears throat> so there could be a wire off or something there. And the other one that's not working. Is this one? This one seems to have a dead short on it somewhere, so I don't know if these wheel insulators have gone bad and it's shorting or what. So, uh, I'll have to look into that. I wouldn't mind getting that one working. Um, I did get a bunch of other bits and bobs with it as well. <coughs> Just haven't got enough room. We've got all this mis miscellaneous stuff. We've got that sort of super short straight piece. I have no idea what you'd use that for. Some broken signals. I don't think any of them are actually working on it. Piece for the um, footbridge. We've got some of these, some buffers, and they're sprung. Well, they're meant to be. Oh, no, I freed that one up. That one stuck them. And some switches. Point switches, maybe? I'm not sure. Got old station, and I have got the end bits for it in the world. Um, <coughs> <coughs> We've got two of these. Yeah, the gate has broken, but the gate is still present, so I should, I'm hoping, be able to glue it back on and actually fix this. But the other one is still intact. Uh, and you've got a couple of these uh, busted up um, signal boxes. And whatever that building is meant to be, I'm not sure. Ticket office maybe, I don't know. Uh, we've got some uh, plastic platform pieces. That was actually just real, it's got a big split in it. Fortunately. But Hornby? Yep, one double O. 
I'm guessing as it's plastic, this must be a later um, edition. Probably when they were going into the 60s. Because out of all six locomotives, the Bobo that's going around the track is the only one with a plastic body. All the rest are all um, die cast metal. As is that, that's metal. I don't know if it's actually die cast, but it is metal. Oh, and the seller also um, advertised or said in the advert a box of carnage. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I thought it might be useful to keep this at least for a bit. I don't. I don't know if it's worth keeping it, putting it on eBay, or just throwing it straight in the bin. To be honest. Um, because everything there seems to be in one piece. I've got one coach I need to glue back together. I was actually hoping that I could perhaps rebuild some of these old coaches that are in there. But then I thought, is it really worth it? Considering how smashed up they are. And this has had all paint on it. Look, I mean, I could repaint it. And uh, to be honest, it's one of the straightest that's uh, in this box. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if anyone would actually buy this stuff for spares, you know, to, to store anything they've got. I've actually thrown a chassis to one side because one of these ones. Oh, that one. That one. <coughs> it's got a pair of wheels missing. One of the uh, live and custard live weed ones. Yeah, what a weird name to call that live weed, blood and custard. I don't know why they called it that. Yeah, there it is. I did find a plastic base in that box of carnage, which has got the correct wheels on it, so I threw it this way, now I don't know where it went. Under the chair is probably. Yeah. yeah, this one needs, well, basically just them back together. Just making sure the uh, inner bit is all lined up. And it should be. I don't think it is, actually. Um, I think it's got to be there. Further down, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that's just got me glued back on there. And then that end glued back on here. It looks like it's been glued before. But I am going to try and salvage that one because otherwise it's not in bad condition. That's a sleeping car as well. He says just throwing everything all over the floor. Nope. That'll teach me. Won't glue them both back together now. <laughs> Oops. I wonder if it'd be easier to glue the roof on first. No. Oh, why has it just done that? Oh, I see why. Might have to just reset that controller, hang on. The controller came with it as well, by the way. I've actually now noticed, <coughs> I thought it was um, smudge that separate that track, it seems it wasn't. 
it seems, just the momentum of that going round is um, loosening a weak point in the track over there. I'm guessing cause it to derail. Going around there quite nicely though, isn't it? Quite happy. I was told this had been stored in an attic for around um, 50 years. I'm not convinced. Pardon me. I mean, it could have been a very a dry attic. <coughs> um, the track and everything just seems so clean. I mean, yeah, I had to uh, clean the track. And I've still got all the other track to clean. But uh, I just use used, I should say, my track rubber. And I went over it like this. Like that. Don't need to press down hard, you just I just put a little bit of pressure on it. And then I got the edge. I just went down the middle one like that. <coughs> and they um to be honest, they all every bit of track I did shined up um, quite nicely. <coughs> Well, like I said, I've still got pretty much all of that in the pile at the top there. And I've even got the original controller. Hang on. It's not on shot, is it? There it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm not convinced what to do about the power cable because it is an original um, fabric insulated power cable with the... Uh, rubber insulated three wires inside it. It's working, but considering it's a hate and considering it's rubber, do I really want to trust it? But to change it means uh, drilling out four rivets on that controller to get the bottom off. I can't get the bottom off any other way, it's all rivets together. <coughs> Which is a bit annoying. I do find it interesting how an old controller like that has got like a trip out mechanism on it as well. Just like um, the triangle controller I've got through there. I'm worth trying to find that earlier, I couldn't find it. You know, if it gets overloaded, like a dead short or something, I'll just trip out. But that controller, if you turn it off, it'll reset itself and then you can carry on again, like I did um, a few minutes ago. The, uh, the vintage stuff really interests me. I just thought, you know, I've already got the more modern OO gauge stuff. Well, I say more modern. I've not got any brand spanking new stuff, but you know what I mean. Um, and the older triangle stuff. And I thought, you know, why don't I give this a go? And uh, to be honest, apart from the annoyance of putting the track together, which could just be an age-related thing now. Actually, it probably most likely is just an age-related thing. <laughs> yes, much don't know what to make of the train. I would have put some rolling stock on it as well, but uh, it fell off, so I didn't bother. <laughs> Bobo didn't like it for some reason. I 
I've got no idea what any of this was actually worth or whether I overpaid for it or not. But for those that might be interested, I paid a hundred quid for the lot. Which I personally didn't think was bad considering you know, the, it came with 214 pieces of track, a good number of coaches there, and some other rolling stock. Um, one, two, three, four of the locos actually had boxes as well. And out of the six locos that came with it, four of them are working anyway. I still got to finish cleaning wheels on a couple. I cleaned them up enough just to see if they were going to work. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I uh, seem to run perfectly fine. And that has now been running around the track apart from when that split there a little while ago. Actually, it's done it twice. So it's, in total, it's been running around the track about 45 minutes. And, uh, apart from that track splitting twice in the same spot, he smudged knocking it over once. It's ran fine. It's not skipped the beat. I don't know the exact age of that loco. So it's got to be between 1960 and 64 when it's thought because it's plastic. I don't know when they brought out the plastic body. You see, if I was a smart person, I would have done a bit more research. So I'm not a smart person. <laughs> But I have to say, I'm sitting here just enjoying watching that going around the track and listening to it. And it sounds alright, the motor sounds alright. I'm going to do a bit of googly woogly later, I think, and uh, just. Uh, I don't know why that Bobo just intrigues me the most. The only problem is, now that I've bought this, it's given me an excuse to buy more double O stuff. <laughs> I'm not paying silly money for anything. Having said that, I don't know if I pay silly money for what I've got here, to be honest. Right, I'm going to end the video here. Um, not sure what the next video is going to be. I'm probably going to continue playing around with this for the next week or so. <laughs> for the next week or so, this is going to be double O on the uh, lounge floor. I'll see if I, see if I can get a point and a side and set up maybe. And some rolling stock to roll with it, and the other locos to work on the track. I did wonder if I've got problems with one of them. Oh, the other working ones. This one, I know I said going to end the video line. This one seems to derail. But I don't know if it's because these curves are a bit too tight for it. Unfortunately, this is an unboxed one, but it is in remarkably good condition. Ooh, got a separately fitted metal handrail going around it there. Um, oh, and just quickly, the other one that I've got that's dead, and it's in the kitchen is a maroon LMS live read, one of these, basically. They look identical, I don't know if they are identical locos, but 
both the cold tender and the actual loco itself, I can't see or couldn't see no difference apart from the colour. But this one is actually working. And it is the Duchess of something or other. That also came with a box, which is there. I can't remember if I mentioned the recovery crane or not, but that's there. There's one string missing, but other than that, it's all complete from the looks of it. It's got three little things that come with them. I think Smudge is getting used to it now because he's settled down at the top there, isn't he? Anyway, now I'm going to end the video. So thanks a lot for watching, everyone. As always, I'll leave links to the Discord server, the gaming channel and the LEGO channel all in the uh, description down below, so feel free to check those out. That's me. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!